welcome to my channel and today I have a theatre vlog for you. So it's been a while since my last theatre vlog and it's not been too much on at the theatre recently but I'm going to see a new musical tonight at the Lowry Theatre. It is um, Bombay Superstar. Like I said it's a new musical so I've never seen it before so I'm really excited to see it. I think it's about some Bollywood stars and it's set in the 70s. Um, so it should be a fun night. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going with my mum. I was originally supposed to be going with my brother-in-law, but he's, he's, wasn't, he's not well today. So my mum said she'll come with me. So it should be a really fun night. It's only the Keys Theatre, which is the smaller theatre. I'm sat in the stores. I think I'm on row F. So as usual, I will show you where I'm sat, show you the view. And when I get back, I'll review the show for you and tell you what I thought of it. I doubt there'll be any merch for it with it being a smaller new musical so I don't think there'll be any merch. I'm not sure if there'll be any programs to buy because I was I was actually sent a digital copy of a program so I'm not sure if, if there'll be programs to buy I don't know but anyway um, I will get back to you now once I'm on my way to the bit. tickets already today. I'm just gonna head in and find our seats. digital programs so I have got that on my phone so I know with the cast are and everything. But yeah, looking forward to it here with my mum today. So it should be a good show.
guys so i'm now back from the theater got back i think it must have been around half 11 something like that the kids were still awake so i had to get them to sleep they're asleep now so i thought i'd just quickly review the show so the show is on in the keys theater which is a smaller theater at the lowry we were sat in the stalls on row f seat 11 and 12 and the view was really really good from those seats definitely enjoyed the view i think it ended up being like the fourth row because they had the orchestral pit out so again yeah, we were sat quite close um and it was nice to see into orchestral pit as well actually i always enjoy looking and seeing the instruments that they're playing and it's really interesting to see i think i put a clip in of um the instruments that i could see in the orchestral pit um so yeah the seats were great um, obviously the tickets were gifted so I'm not sure how much those tickets should have been I think the tickets were around £30 for that show the most expensive so I'm guessing around that price so this show didn't have any merch or even a program that you could buy I think I mentioned before I left I was sent a digital version of the program and that's all that they had for this show so there were some QR codes up around the theatre um, people could scan that and they would get the digital program I personally prefer to have an actual physical program because I like to collect them and it's just easy, I think it's easier to look through whilst you're at the theatre rather than to look at it on your phone. I do much prefer an actual one I can read in my hand but that wasn't an option, it was just a digital one you could get for this show but it was nice that that was a free option and people didn't have to pay for it. So Bombay Superstar is a new musical, it is um, about love and betrayal in the golden age of Bollywood cinema. Uh, the musical is set in the in 1970s Bombay and it follows the story of Layla who travels to Bombay to become a Bollywood star um, after the death of her mother. Uh, her mother tells her to go and find her film director father who is a director of Bollywood movies in Bombay. So when Layla actually finds her father he actually rejects Layla um, because she was actually the product of an affair and her father doesn't want that knowledge to become public knowledge because it's um, frowned upon or looked down upon in in their culture. So Layla is then left to defend for herself. Layla then meets with, with a um, rival director called Tiger and he um, wants to make Layla a star so she starts performing in um, some Bollywood movies um, and becomes quite famous and she's working alongside an actor called Kanda and she actually falls in love with him however he is married with a child and so there is like a little love triangle going on and yeah that's the basic story of or the basic plot of this musical so like i said i don't have a physical program but i do have the digital one which i can show you on my phone so this is the digital program it has some adverts in it. it has some information about the belgrade theater the new worsley theater uh, and it has a welcome from the artistic director has some information about the Bombay superstars of the 1970s and 80s and then you have your company so, so playing Layla is Nisha Al Alia I'm sorry about the pronunciation of the names. I'm not great with names. But she was really good. I actually really enjoyed her performance as Layla. Um, I thought she was great in the role. Amma, Pammy and the female vocalist was uh, played by Amar. Um, she was really good. Uh, so she played a couple of roles. And yeah, I really loved her portrayal of Pammy. She was like a reporter. I thought she was really good and also she did the vocals, most of the female vocals and I thought she had a great voice, I thought she was really good. Um, then we have Din Dayal who was Layla's father, um, played by Shirag Rao. 
Um, and he was also the male vocalist, so he sang most of the male songs. Again, he had a really good voice. Marlette was played by Pia Sitaria. Uh, she was really good. Seconda was played by Rav Moore. Vicky by Robbie Kale. Dolly by Sheeta Pandaya. Tyler by Ranik Ganti. Then you have your ensemble members. And then you've got um, your creative team and directors. You've got some uh, rehearsal photos there. And then here's your cast biographies. So Tiger for this um, performance was actually played by the understudy, um, so Adil Ali actually played Tiger in this um, performance, usually it is, let me find him. Usually it is Yannick Ganti playing Tiger. So then you have your song list for for the two acts. So first song is Hello to Bombay, uh, which I really enjoyed. And then these are the other songs. And then these are the songs from Act 2. Um, yeah, my favourite song is Bombay Superstar. And I think that is everything in the programme. Yeah, that is it. So the musical is in English with and the songs are sung in Hindi, but there is a screen up with um subtitles on so you can tell what the words are for the songs. Um, and I really enjoy the music. I really liked it. Um, I think they might, I'm not sure if they're like known Bollywood songs. I'm not sure. But some people seem to be singing along and clapping along to them. So maybe they are known songs. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed them. I also really enjoyed the costumes in the show. They were nice and bright and colourful. And yeah, I enjoyed the costumes. And the dancing was also really good. Enjoyed all the dance numbers in the show. So one thing actually, the, the so one thing actually, the main characters didn't actually sing any songs. They um sort of lip sync to the songs, and it was some other cast members which were singing all the songs, and they were behind screens. So yeah, the main actors weren't singing their songs. There's one of two of them that did have their own songs, um, but most of the songs were sung by two two specific people it was the person that played the father and the person that played the reporter they sang most of the songs but were behind a screen and let the main cast then mime to them um but i don't think it took anything away from the show um it if anything it's sort of more like a bollywood movie because that is probably what would happen on a bollywood movie um so yeah, that's how the songs were done. So it's quite different from a normal musical that I would normally go and see. Um, but it's still enjoyable. I think my favourite song from the musical would have to be the title song, um, Bombay Superstar. That has sort of been stuck in my head and been going around uh, since I heard it. So yeah, I, I did enjoy that one. I probably would say that is my favourite song from the show. So I did enjoy the show, but I have to say it's probably not a show that I'd rush out and want to see again. I had a fun night, it was enjoyable, but not one that I would like to say, oh, I need to see that again. I've seen it once, and that's probably all I need to see it, see of it. But I did have a good time, I did enjoy the show, and definitely the people in the audience definitely seemed to be enjoying them themselves. They were clapping along and really seemed to be enjoying the show as well. So I have to say, it did take me a little while to get into the show. I think maybe the first half I found a bit hard to get into. I think because they, they were introducing all the characters, it just seemed a bit slow the first half. 
but the second half definitely enjoyed more i think it was a bit more fast paced and the story seemed to flow a bit more so yeah um definitely say i enjoyed the second half more than the first so bombay superstar is on at the lowry from the 8th of november till the 12th of november uh, i will leave a link down below for where you can get tickets I'll also link the Bombay Superstar website if I can find it down below as well. Um, I think they should probably list all the places that it's touring to. So if you want to go and see it at um, a venue near you, you should be able to find that on there. And yeah, overall, I'll definitely say I enjoyed the show. Like I said, it was a fun night out. And yeah, I had a good time. So I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog and review. Um, if you do like these sort of videos, then please do subscribe. I am actually going to two shows tomorrow. I'm going to go and see Bugsy Malone in the afternoon. And I'm seeing um, Best Exotic Marigold Hotel at the Lowry in the evening. So the reviews for those will be up soon as well. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.